Hello, and welcome to another Netflix Picks. There's no better time in the summer to watch a classic western, and the man who shot Liberty Valance definitely fits the bill. Even if you don't typically like westerns, you might be surprised to find that this film contains elements of several different genres, despite the fact that it may be rooted in the western. The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance has a title that somewhat reveals its multi-genre origin. Although a name like Liberty Valance certainly sounds like it belongs in the western, titles that begin with some variant of The Man Who were typically relegated to mysteries, thrillers, and noir films. As a matter of fact, many film scholars refer to this movie as a western noir, and it's easy to see why. Although the film was directed by the legendary John Ford, it has a visual style which is very recognizable as a noir. Whether it be the lettering on the windows creating a shadow in the room, the windows themselves creating artificial bars in the shadows, or even the final confrontation which depicts a gun battle taking place at night in the pitch dark alleys of a small town, there is far too much noir in this film to deny its roots. Heck, the movie even starts like a noir, with one of our main characters recounting the story described by the title of the film. Starring both John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart, this film features some of the most notable Western actors of their time. And yet it stands as an excellent example of a movie that broke through the conventions of the typical Western in order to create something much more interesting. Released in 1962, it's fair to say that this film was shot during a time in which Americans were starting to get a little tired of the same old thing in theaters. They had seen John Ford Western several times over, and they knew what to expect, so it's a good possibility that this film was crafted to appeal to audiences who wanted something more. As a matter of fact, one could easily say that this is one of the westerns which led to the revolution of the revisionist western, which we began to see in full force in the later 1960s. There had been subversive and genre-bending westerns before this one, but few were as memorable or interesting as The Man Who Shot Liberty Balance. If you want to see an early example of the traditional western flipped on its head, check out this masterpiece from the grandfather of the genre. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned next week for another Netflix Picks.